what I'm going to do here is I'm going to run the, the wire for the right hand side of the vehicle through this compartment. I'm going to be keeping it away from all the moving parts. I'm going to keep everything on the left side. I'm going to run it low. There's actually a place. If I take the camera and lift it up a little bit. Down here is an actually open, open mounting hole. So I am going to make sure that I'm going to zip tie that wire to that mounting hole. And that prevents it from coming up and going this way or coming up and going this way. So I'm going to run it. through here, down through here on the far end, I'm actually going to make the connection here and I'm going to tuck it in and push back any of the slack. From there, it's perfectly lined up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that zip tie, zip tie it there. This is where this is going to live, it's kind of going to live in this groove and then when when the actual cover comes back on, it's just gonna smush down on this wire here. Might have to do some trimming depending on how far it smushes down, but that's all done in trial and error. Next, I'm organizing the wires that will be living underneath the cowling on the driver's side. I'm clipping together the connectors along with securing the wiring down with some zip ties. I'm also removing the excess zip tie so it doesn't get in the way later. The following step involved putting the cowling back where it came from. The process involves getting it back without scratching anything and pushing it against the windshield side as much as possible. That way, it gives clearance for the side that's interfacing with the gasket so it'll be easier to screw everything back on. The windshield wiper arms are a bit of an enigma at first but prove to be easy to remove and reattach. At the base of the arm, there's a latch that gets pulled out when you want to remove and get snapped in when you want to secure it. The action is very small, so there's no need to put much force on it. Reinstallation is easy as long as you remember where the windshield wiper originally was. If not, it's just a little experimentation to get it done. The best way I found to get the cowling back was to place it as best as I could and then pop up the hood. That gave me the ability to get in with something like a screwdriver or a plastic sputter. I recommend something that's something that's soft so you don't damage your paint in order to pull the gasket out from underneath the cowling. Putting the cowling back was more tedious and annoying than getting the cowling off in the first place. Don't forget, make sure you replace the screws holding the cowling once you've been wrangled the gasket. Finally, I've organized the wiring to go from the driver's side over to the passenger side where the fuse box is. So as you, you can probably see it right around here. It's going to run up this way along with all the other wiring down through here and then underneath the, the fuse box. I'll be going into the details of the wiring later on in a different post, but that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and also hit that subscribe button while you're there and see you on the next one.